so our next topic is continue on error okay so what's so special about it that's pretty simple rakesh continue on error so if there is an error it will continue so let me show you a couple of so there will be questions with uh, similar kind of a graphics that is shown in the practice test and uh, you will be asked what is what should be the output okay so let me give you a couple of different uh, scenarios that you should be aware so here in the first one let's say i am clicking on a button of a web page okay and here uh, below that let's say i am keeping a message box so what what i have done i have um, selected continue on error so i have got three different scenarios i am going to talk about it here the continue on error is enabled so what would happen and always read the property okay always read the property how it is being enabled did i enable timeout i did not enable timeout so how this will run will it time out first of all if the continue error is enabled no it's not time out it will always continue to the next activity this must be no and from where did we get to know this by if you open a click activity or any other activity that you're using continue on error is one of the property so continue on error specifies if the automation should continue even when the activity throws an error okay i have highlighted the important point look at it the field only supports boolean value true or false the default value is false as a result if the field is blank if an uh, and an error is thrown that means continue error you have not enabled if the error is thrown execution project stops execution of the project stops this is the keyword if the value is set to true continue an error you have enabled then the execution of the project continues regardless of the error even though the error has act, uh, occurred in a specific activity it will still continue to the next activity okay so here your question will be slightly tricky for example look at this question i'm going to explain those scenarios let's look at this question a developer configured the properties of the click activity on an element inside a web page so it's supposed to click on a ui element on a web page as shown in the following graphics where the continue error is enabled and here always look at when this things comes always your mind should get on to something called timeout so here the timeout is kept blank so if the timeout is kept blank how your project will uh, run is it going to run immediately to the next activity or it will wait for some time it will wait for some time how much time it will wait it will decided by the timeout so if timeout is not mentioned here right so from where your project will understand how much time it should wait before it could get on to the next activity so let me execute this okay so before i execute let me first show that so that should be available in your project setting so you should go to project hit on this okay so uh, here if i go to because i am using classic activity so here uh, debug if you are doing a debug there is a value 30000 which is uh, 1000 millisecond is equal to 1 second so 30000 second milliseconds is equal to uh, 30 seconds okay it will wait for 30 seconds almost half a minute right 30 seconds it is going to wait when you do a debug even though if you do a run a run value when you run when you debug so when you run it also it is going to wait for 30 seconds so 30 seconds from here it is going to pick it okay so i have got three scenarios let me run it and show you let me debug this first one okay if i debug the first one what would happen so the execution has started and let's see so it will wait for 30 seconds okay so try all these things because your understanding is required what kind of a graphics will come nobody knows but if you know how things work then you will be able to judge okay okay so the execution has started now look at it so the it is executing right partially execute executing so it will take 30 seconds of time okay after 30 seconds only it will go to the message box so we'll have to have bit of patience here continue on error but you must not continue by skipping anything okay you must read all the topics 
and prepare your brain in a way because there will be a lot of questions with a lot of graphics okay so you can see after 30 seconds it has executed okay if you see uh, okay so next activity this message prompt has come and it has executed after 30 seconds so it did not throw an error why because the continue on error has been enabled let's look at the second scenario and let me see how many of you can answer this okay so comment it so look at the second scenario click activity and this is the property continue on error what i said always look at all the properties so here what is there timeout 3000 means three seconds that means here it will continue to the next activity after three seconds not 30 seconds because because anytime you are defining any value this will take uh, importance the project settings will not will be neglected so this will take importance priority so if i run it last time it we were waiting for 30 seconds now it will only wait for three seconds so check it within three seconds it will go go to the next activity so let the execution start so if there is an option after three seconds the see look at it one two almost three it should go i cannot count exactly but you can see it has quickly has come to the next activity next activity run start uh, i mean it has prompted okay so this we are, you have understood let's move on to the sequence three so uh, scenario three in this one i'm what i'm using i'm using a try catch block i'm using a try catch block and within the try catch block i'm using the same set of activities and always look at the property if the properties are different the behavior also will become different right so here continue on error is enabled and then uh, the timeout millisecond is also three seconds so after three seconds this will go to message box but will it go to the cache section because it has thrown an error it won't go right so the answer is it won't go to the cache section at all so whatever value is defined in the cache section will not execute so here if you see um, look at how it is functioning so the click activity has executed okay after three seconds the message box has executed okay now it did not go to the cache section at all now i will make a small tweak what i will do here in the input what would happen if i remove this if i remove this and in the exception if i type let's type something like this okay uh, what i will type exception uh, this is the variable exception dot this is coming from here right exception exception dot um, message okay uh, plus okay this is one log message let me use another log message below this now you should answer me okay you'll also learn few more things so copy paste oh, it's not functioning let me drag and drop okay so in this one let me write something else so here i will say info let's say uh, exception exception variable uh, dot let's see what are the options are available one is message result and then source okay if i say source what would happen so you should know what kind of output is coming okay so what would happen because uh, because uh, continue error is false that means it will throw an error it will the message box will not execute at all and then we will have the um, uh, log messages okay so let's see the sequence so knowledge of all the small small things is required okay <clears throat> i'm actually tired today so uh, submit so now see it has thrown the error right so i'll hit on continue if you exactly run because i'm doing a debug so i'll manually continue so where it will go it has come to the cache section okay it has come to the cache section and then log message has been logged so when it's when you say exception dot source what would happen when you say exception dot message what would happen so let's look at it let's go to the um, output so the output has come my first for execution click uh, could not find the ui element is the error okay and then 
UI path automation bypass for execution ended. Okay, so this is the uh, this is the error. So what we can do just to see. So this is the uh, log message. Okay, uh, uh, exception dot message, which is this one, the first set, and uh, uh, search failed at selected. This is the source. Okay, this is where it failed. Exactly where exactly it failed. This is the source. You can also use a message box to see it uh, clearly. Um, if you wanted to uh, do that, so try this exception dot message exception dot source. Uh, and there are so many other things also you have to learn around try catch i will try to bring those topics so that's about it on this video so we understood continue on error and its behavior on different different scenarios okay so thank you guys for watching it we are going to meet in the next content